So, hello friends, uh, today I will explain a very important topic which is called double integral. So, double integral means uh, this type where f x y a function given and uh, we have to integrate with respect to x and y both and definitely one domain is given. Now, the first question which comes in mind, which one we integrate first? either x or y before that i will tell you one more important thing here it's same similar to a partial differentiation it means when you are integrating with respect to x keep y as a constant and when you are integrating with respect to y keep x as a constant so now the first question which comes in mind which one we integrate first with respect to x or y <clears throat> when limit given x1 x2 y1 y2 fx y dx dy so there are two types when all limits are constant means x1 x2 y1 y2 all are constant then integrate first with respect to x and then y which one inside it means we have to integrate first and then second again when all limits are constant then nothing matter which one given first integrate with, res with respect to that first and then second here with respect to x given first to so first integrate function with respect to x and then y problem comes when it is variable i will explain first uh, this time Suppose we have given 0 to 1 and uh, 0 to 3. x square y dx dy. So, how we integrate? First, integrate with respect to x. So, what we get? x cube by 3 y as a constant. And what is the limit? x limit 0 to 3 1 by 3 outside this 27 y dy again integrate y square by 2 what is the limit 0 to 1 put the limit 9 into 1 by 2 that is 9 by 2 unit <coughs> Now, second case, when limit given in terms of variable, then order is very important. Here, see, first limit given in terms of x, means from x to x square. So, when, uh, see the first limit, if it is given in terms of x, it means we have to integrate first with respect to y, because this is y limit given, y is equal to x and y is equal to x square. So, again, if first limit given in terms of x, either this one or this one or both, no matter, it is given in terms of x, it means we have to integrate first with respect to y. When it is given in terms of y, it means we have to integrate with respect to x first. So here it is given in terms of x. It means we are going to integrate first with respect to y. So integrate with respect to y means keep x square as a constant and y integration is 
y square by 2. What is the limit? x2, x square and dx will be there. So, 0 to 1, 1 by 2 outside. This is x to the power 4 minus x square dx. Now, multiply x. One by seven minus one by five. So minus one by thirty-five unit is the answer. So I think it's very easy and easily you can do. Now third type question. When uh, it is given in terms of language means. Question is integrate x y dx dy where a is given area between or domain is bounded between x axis ordinate x is equal to 2a and parabola x square is equal to 4ay so again i will repeat the question evaluate this integral where domain is bounded by x axis ordinate x is equal to 2a and parabola x square is equal to 4ay in that case first draw the picture how we draw the picture x axis x axis means this one this is your x axis ordinate x is equal to 2a somewhere this is 2a value and parabola x square is equal to 4a y it means y always positive so it means this one x square is equal to 4 a y. So what is the bounded area between this curve? O A B. O A B is the bounded area. Means we have to integrate this one for this. When language given then it's so much easy. What do you do? Just you draw a vertical strip in bounded region or horizontal your choice but uh, because I am going to draw vertical so it's better you will also draw vertical but it's your choice so uh, draw vertical strip in bounded region this is boundary region we draw a vertical line see this vertical line cover complete reason yes when you move this one we cover up to 0 and when we move this one it comes up to 2a so it will cover everything once you draw vertical line just when you draw vertical line see what where upper end lies on which curve upper end of this vertical line lies on this curve parabola so what is y value there y value is x square by 4a and lower end lies on this axis what is y value there 0 just find out y value at upper end and lower end and put the limit upper end value y upper limit lower end value of y lower limit then x limit x limit as usual it will start from 0 and goes up to 2a so 0 to 2a now so 0 to 2a now integrate uh, this is very easy 
because x limit given so first we have to integrate y so keep x as a constant outside y integration y square by 2 now put the limit we got this one then now integrate with respect to x we get the answer 1 by 3 a to the power 4 so i hope you easily understand this all this is basic of double integral in next lecture we move towards change of order of integration which is very important thank you